Hmm. I have my exclusive maid. Oh no. I messed up the documents that Master has put neatly by mistake. I'm sorry for being so clumsy. Hmm. I, Tatsumi Kurasuma, is the son of a president of a major company. Oh no! Now I made books that Master has kept neatly fall down by mistake! Oops! Hmm... I'm still in the 11th grade in high school, but I help my dad with his work as the next president. I've been so busy that I have no time to take care of personal things. That's why my dad assigned an exclusive maid to take care of me. <laughs> Master, please lecture this clumsy maid for making so many mistakes. Hmm. The maid is Rui Igarashi. She is a year older than me, and she's been working as a maid at our house for three years now. She's supposed to be very good, so she was appointed to be my exclusive maid six months ago. But, as you can see, the situation is very different. You! Are you going to punish me? Are you going to punish a maid for being devastating bad at doing housework? Hold on a second. I expected this, so I always carry some stuff you can use to punish me. Don't carry that kind of thing, you awful maid. <laughs> more! Please scold me more! Why are you happy when I'm mad at you? Stop messing around! You made my room all messy! It's alright. I'll take responsibility and make it sparkling clean and tidy. Nothing good happens when I let you do it. For example, she would mess up the order of books. She does something so silly like that. <laughs> I'm such a bad maid. <laughs> She's helpless. I have to do something about her. You probably figured out by now that she's... crazy. You might want to ask me why I don't fire a crazy maid like her. <sighs> I'm satisfied. So, I'm going to do my regular job. No, you need to do something about the mess in this room. Oh, it's cleaner than before. When did you do that? I finished it while you were calling me crazy in your heart. In that short period of time? Yes! Yes, she is very good at her job. No wonder my dad chose her. She's perfect not only at doing housework, but also managing my schedule, assisting me with my job, etc. But her only weakness is being crazy. She pretends to be incompetent so that I would get mad at her. <sighs> she would be so perfect if she didn't do that. Master, we all have weaknesses, you know. I wonder why it sounds as if you're saying something very reasonable. Actually, I'm just trying to be blind by my own weaknesses. Stop it if you know that. You make me want to bury you in the garden. Bury me in the garden? Oh no! I don't think she can be saved. What should I do with her? I know. Scolding you would just make you happy, so it's useless. I wouldn't get angry at you. What do you think if I just let you do whatever you want? So, you're gonna just leave me alone? <laughs> hmm... It might be meaningless, but I might as well give it a try. Just like that, I decided to ignore and let her do whatever she wanted. Then... I made Master's books fall down on the floor again! What? Are you ignoring me? Is this that kind of a game? <laughs> it's okay, but I want you to scold me. Meow, meow, please scold me. Are you a cat? I was gonna ask her, but I need to keep myself calm and quiet. But this feels nice too! It feels like you're teasing me. It feels different, and it excites me. Don't you agree, Master? Don't ask me. Ah, <laughs> uh, I guess this doesn't work. I tried hard to make her normal, but she was hopeless, and nothing worked. 
Troubled by the situation, I... Chief, what should I do about this bad maid? I decided to talk to the chief of all the maids hired at our house. <laughs> he just called me a bad maid. Hmm. Then, let's fire her. What? what? Did I say something strange? F fire me But, Chief, I didn't say that I want that. You don't want an incompetent maid to be your exclusive maid, do you? No, you're totally right. Master, why don't you protect me a little more? Honestly, you asked for it. What? I just want to be scolded, cursed, and punished by you, Master. That's the reason why you're getting fired. If you don't want to be fired, why don't you win the first place of the Maid of the Year competition next month? Maid of the Year? What is that? It's a competition to see who is the best maid. If I win the first place in that competition, would you forget about firing me? Yes, it would prove that you're not incompetent, but a very good maid. Then, I would have nothing against you. What do you say? I'll do it! I will win the first place! Okay, I'll do my best to win the Maid of the Year competition! Hmm... My maid can be crazy, but she is good. If she is determined, she can easily win the competition. Chief must know that she's good. Then, why does she make winning the competition a condition for continuing to be my maid? Also, she was never accused of being crazy, but now, she is suddenly losing her job. There are so many things that don't make sense. Wow! Oh well, I guess it's not my problem. After that, she tried really hard to win the Maid of the Year competition, but... Hi, how are you doing? Your master is here to check on you. Ah. A few seconds after I came back to check on her, she was serving perfectly until I arrived, but she made a mess knocking over cups and a table. What are you doing? What should I do, master? I want you to get angry and scold me so much that I get into the bad maid mode as soon as I see you. What do you think I should do? Get fired. Oh, but I will serve a judge at the competition, right? It's okay as long as it's not you that I'm serving. I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'll be the judge at the competition. What? Chief has just told me that. It's been nice serving you so far. I'll miss you. Why are you giving up? Oh no, she won't be able to win for sure. Okay, I'll help you. You can practice serving me now. What? Are you sure? It would feel much more real when you actually have someone to serve, right? Yes, well, thank you. By the way, what's the criteria? It's basically a demerit method. So, if you do something wrong, your scores will get deducted. That means that you start at zero. You're a bad maid. <laughs> Tell me more. I gave zero point without mercy to this bad maid. She kept making mistakes after that. As she said, she would make mistakes without thinking when she's serving me. You always become perfect once you get satisfied. Can't you do that? Well, it doesn't happen unless you curse me every time I do one work. What's the equivalent exchange system? Hmm, I guess it won't be easy for you to win. Chief, are you here to check on her? Yes. Oh! Uh, why are you so stuck at being a maid that much? There are so many other jobs in the world. What? Why? I... Master has done so much for me. I want to continue being Master's maid to pay him back for what he's done for me. And I also wanted to be scolded by him. Get fired. <laughs> Tell me more, Master. Uh, why do you care so much about this maid? I know how you feel, Chief. To be honest, I want to fire her as soon as I can. I love the looks in your eyes. Look at me with those despising eyes. Come on! Come on! 
They say that the sillier the kid, the cuter she is, right? She can be good when she needs to. I trust her. Uh, I see. Huh? Did she? She smile? We kept practicing for the Maid of the Year competition after Chief had left. On the day of the competition, I, Tatsumi Karasuma, was kidnapped. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know what we want? I have no idea. Yes, that's right. We want ransom. Oh, no, you're not listening to me at all. You seem calm, huh? But I know you're actually so scared. You don't have to act tough, you know. I'm so scared. Honestly speaking, it's not that I'm not scared. But when your father is rich, this kind of a thing can happen to you. I was kidnapped several times before. I wonder how many times I've been kidnapped. I'm scared, but I've got used to being kidnapped. <laughs> We've been waiting for the day when there won't be much security around. Don't you think we're smart? There's not enough security? No, you have it wrong. It's just that we didn't need much security. There usually isn't much security around. If it wasn't for the competition, she would never allow this to happen. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? You might not know that, although she can be surprisingly silly. I trust her. She can be really dependable. What the heck are you talking about? Do you really think the help is coming? No one is coming to help you! This is a secret place that only we know! I don't know about that. What? <laughs> oh! H hey! What's wrong? Ouch! I won't let anyone who tried to hurt Master get away! I'm going to destroy you! No one could fight against her. She was too strong. She knocked out all the kidnappers and they all got arrested. Uh, I'm sorry, Master. It's all my fault. It's okay, it's okay. We can still make it to the Maid of the Year competition. But, but it's not the time for... I'm saying that it's okay. If you don't win, you know what's gonna happen, right? Uh, um... Uh, y yes! L let's go! We made it on time for the competition. But she couldn't win the first place. The reason was that she hurt her dominant foot to save me from the kidnappers. We told Chief about it, but she didn't put it into consideration at all. First of all, it's unforgivable that you let Master get kidnapped. You were in charge of Master because he trusted you, right? Oh. Also, a top-leveled maid would save Master and then win the competition. I know. Therefore, you're no longer Master's exclusive maid. Just like that, Rui was fired and was no longer my exclusive maid. A few days later, a new maid was assigned exclusively to me. Ah, a new exclusive maid. Master, your new exclusive maid is here. Chief, well, I want Rui. What? R Rui? Why are you? I... I don't know either. Uh, I see. Uh, you don't seem to be that surprised. I felt something was odd from the beginning. Now I understand. What? What do you mean? Uh, what do you understand, Master? You never accused Rui before, but you suddenly told her that she would get fired. You've been planning a lot to trick Rui, haven't you? You're good, Master. I see. Uh, to trick me? That's naughty! Back to the subject. I've always wanted you to make a mistake. Me? You're really good. You're so much better than me. You're good and perfect. You always mess with Master, but you always get your housework done in time. And you never let Master's schedule get behind time. Uh, you're impeccable. Yours the ideal maid. Is she? Really? <laughs> those despising eyes. Look at me more with those eyes, Master. A anyway, she's a perfect maid. That's amazing. But she doesn't make any mistakes. 
She knows nothing about making mistakes. That can't be good for her. That's why I wanted her to make a mistake and learn what it's like to make a mistake. So, the kidnapping wasn't real. Being fired was a lie. Everything was a lie to make her make a mistake. Yes, that's right. She's always making silly mistakes, but she hasn't experienced a real mistake. Ugh, I thought she needed to grow up to assist you when you take over your father's business and responsibilities. Uh, chief! Keep up your good work, Rui Garashi. Y yes Just like that, everything was over now, and Rui was back as my exclusive maid, but... Uh, they made a mess on your desk, Master! Come on, lecture me, Master! Lecture your bad maid! Come on! Hmm... What's wrong? Aren't you going to punish me? No. I was thinking that I should have really fired you. What are you talking about? You're gonna miss me when I really get fired. No, I'm not. But when Chief tried to fire me, and when Chief brought you a new maid... Th that was... And... I know how much you trust me, Master. Uh, I won't miss you at all, even if you are gone. And I don't trust you. Well, I'm not a fan of Chundere. I want you to punish me. I really want to fire you. Bonus. Master! Master! Here is a rope! Oh! Here! Tie me with this rope! Why? Why? Such a stupid question. That's because there's a rope, of course! <laughs> I love your despising look! Look at me more with that look on your face! She's really hopeless!